What's up guys, Tactahawks here, and today we're breaking down the Beretta M9. I think this is the first time we're actually shooting a Beretta on the channel, and uh, this is the standard issue military sidearm right now. Chambered 9mm, 17 round magazines, double single action, ambidextrous safety decocker. So looking at that, clear gun, no magazine in the gun. It's actually going to drop the hammer to double action as well as completely unlock that trigger or lock up that trigger however you want to look at it disconnect it um, and you have a single-sided magazine release and a single-sided slide lock or slide release locking the gun open pros of this gun field strips really easy single action isn't too bad um, cons of it double action is a little crunchy the ergonomics aren't something that I really prefer but we're gonna go ahead and put it through its paces here and see how it holds up and what we think when we're done. Let's go. There's the problem right there, guys. This is why I'm not a fan of really any type of thumb safety on a gun. It's not my preference, but the slide mounted safety you can see here the ambidextrous safety what happened is the beretta m9 has a half cut slide here you can see so you either kind of run the risk of putting your hand over the breech of the gun when the slides being cycled burning your hand if the barrel's hot enough or what i just did right there was actually as i came across to rack the slide i ended up engaging that safety and shutting the trigger off for all practical application that's a problem i'm gonna go ahead and keep running this thing and see how it goes. So far, you know, the, the single action trigger really isn't too bad. Double action's a little bit crunchy. Um, being the, the trigger snob that I guess I am, the reset, you're, you're coming quite a ways back out to the reset point, so it's kind of a long throw when you are in single action, but all in all, not too bad. The ergonomics of it, it's not the most comfortable gun I've ever held in my hand by any stretch, but it is very controllable. I mean, having an all metal frame and just a nine millimeter round spitting out the front, it's pretty controllable under recoil. We're probably 30, 35 feet maybe 40 feet off steel, and you can put some rounds to it pretty decently. There you have it guys, after putting some rounds through the M9, I can say that I continually hit the safety and engage the safety when I was racking the slide during magazine changes. That's certainly a problem for me, something that I'm not a big fan of, and I personally don't like relying on the slide release lever. So that's one of the negatives to the gun. The ergonomics, I really don't know what to say. It's not, it's not the most comfortable gun. I would never seek out owning this gun, 
but it's very controllable and it's really not too bad. I, I don't have a whole lot of bad to say about it, it's just not the one that I would choose. I know that Beretta makes some variations of the 92 series pistol for civilian models that have decockers on them. The M9 here doesn't, it's strictly a safety, that's something that kind of bothers me a little bit, but that could also be a mental advantage or, or a mental comfort portion that some people seek out. The good stuff that I would say, I talked about the sights, they pick up really well, single action triggers, very nice, double action. It's kind of crunchy, but you can certainly get over it just with time and repetition and practice. But the big thing that I will say that I can back Beretta with and that I, that I believe is the reliability of this gun. Our buddy Dylan, who loaned us this gun for the test, said off camera is, you know, you can shoot these guns up and yeah, they'll jam occasionally or the ammunition will malfunction. But the reliability that he has seen in his time overseas in the military is uh incredible so the longevity you're getting a lot of bang for your buck in that regard when you're choosing something like the beretta m9 or the 92 platform we appreciate you guys watching go ahead and comment below with your thoughts on the beretta 92 series or the m9 let us know what you think of it we'll get some discussion going and be sure to like comment and subscribe to tactaholic share us around help us get the word out with our videos and we'll see you next time because we never quit Oh, stability right there. It's fantastic. Now I got the gun. The, the gun. gun. Good. Oh, God, yeah. You look amazing. Am I in front of this enough? Does it look nice? Because I feel like the black is going to stand out really nice against Rusty.